Hello, and sa ating production, does Jesus need to come for a miracle to take place? Yes. Okay. Sabi po, does Jesus need to come for a miracle to take place? Yes. So beside po, there, there are five points na ating bibigyan ng pansin sa umangun ito sa mensahe ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. Una, tuna natin yung place. Okay. So first verse natin, makikita niyo dyan mga kapatid that uh, Jesus came again to Cana of Galilee. Again, like I said kanina, what are the miracles that Jesus did? One of, the men, one of them you mentioned is turning wine into water. Tama? Mali. Mali. Buti na magkising pa kayo. Turning water into wine. Diyan po yan sa Galilee. Ano po okasyon nun? Binyaga. Tama ba? Kasalan. Kasalan. Buti kising pa rin kayo. Wala pong binyaga nun. Kasalan po yun. At uh, yun, uh, inibay si Jesus kahit kasama ang kanyang mga lagat, kasama nanay niya. At uh, nang nawala na ng kanilang mga uh, wine, uh, Mary destroyed Jesus Christ and then they have no wine. Of course, you know that. It's a turn one into wine. The, the place is the same. Cana of Galilee where he had made the water into wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. The place. Do you know how far is Cana to Capernaum? No. No. Cana of Galilee to Capernaum is more than 20 miles around 32 kilometers. That's the distance between the moon and the sun. Ay, hindi naman. Hindi po. 32 kilometers from probably Kimbo Airport ang nasa bahay namin. Saan yan? Alay, alay, ano? Kasi mula dito, ang nasa bahay namin is about 22 kilometers. So plus 10 kilometers, about 32 kilometers. Or then, mas malayo pa ng Kimbo kasi ang Kimbo 5 kilometers lang away from here. So, mas malayo pa ng Pangal. Or, ah! Kung nandun kayo sa Pampanga, mula sa Magalang hanggang probably Pora. <laughs> sa Maynila, hindi ako sana eh. So, hindi ko maano kung makati ang dagay ng city. Hindi ko alam. So, anyway, 32 kilometers. And of course, meron na mga sasakyan na no? kaya madali makapunta. Tama ba? Wala. Mali ulit. Wala pa po sasakyan nila. Pinakasasakyan nila is of course, yung mga camels, donkey, or your sandals. So, the, play, the place, it's about 32 kilometers away from the residence of the noble. I don't know how he found out that Jesus Christ was there. But because he's a noble man, a royal official, in other words, meron siya mga contacts. Right? Meron siya mga connections. That's the reason probably why he knew that Jesus Christ was in Cana of Galilee. Which was again, the second, I mean, the first miracle of Jesus Christ. So that's the place. Second, please lang tayo eh. Uh, by the way, you can see in our PowerPoint that it highlights the other words. Cana of Galilee is the place and the nobleman. Why? We'll let that tell you later. The plea. Then Jesus, oh, when he heard her, when he heard her, that Jesus had came out to Galilee, he had heard, okay, so as I told you, maybe he had some connections, I guess it's 32 kilometers. He went to him and implored it to him to come down and he listened for he was at the point of death. Yung alam niya, hindi lang siya may lagnat. Okay? Hindi lang siya may sakit. Sa Tagalog, naghihingalo. Tama ba? At the point of death, mga kapatid. Naghihingalo na yung bata. We don't know how old he is, who he was, but he was in the point of death. Ano ang kanyang sabi sa Panginoon? Wala, siyang, wala pang ano dito, ha? wala pang sinulat si John na dahil ang ganang sabi niya, implored him to come down and heal his son. Just make, like I said, when you read the Bible, just use your imagination. Walang nakakotation na ganyan. Ibig sabihin, walang dialogue. Ibig sabihin, implored talaga nagmakaawa. Kasi usap, punta ka sa amin, nasakit ang anak ko, mamamatay na. Something to that effect. And Jesus said that unless you people, right, People here is plural, right? See signs and wonders you will know by an inspiration. Kasi ang munan pa. Anong tawag doon sa tao? Anong, anong, noble man, royal official, ang gusto lang niya, mga kapatid, please Lord, bumaba ka sa amin. Punta ka sa amin. Yung anak ko may sakit. Pakilingin mo naman. Sinermunan. 
Unless you people believe or see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. Hindi kayo maniniwala hanggang hindi ko nakakita ng mga milagro. Pakay ka niyan. Something to that effect. Did the man reacted negatively on what Jesus said? No, he did not. Ito po sabi niya, oh. The normal man said to him, Sir, come down before my time comes. Hindi niya inalita na kung ano sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanya. Kasama siya doon, people, you people, kinakakita ng mga bilagro, hindi ka maniniwala. I don't care kung ano sabi ng Panginoong Yesus, sabi niya, Sir, come down before my child dies. May pare na lang mirakal na ito sa Matthew chapter 8 verse 5. Yan po nila ikuin dyan. Is actually, now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, okay, See the same, see the place. Nasa kala si Jesus Christ dito sa una. Ito naman, Capernaum. Ito, Capernaum ito. Ito kung saan taga yung nobleman. Yun ang kanyang hometown. Alright? A centurion came to him pleading, Lord, my servant is lying in home for a life dreadfully tormented. Parang sila ng plea. Dito, yung nobleman, ang anak niya ang may sakit. Sa pangalawa, yung sinto yun, yung kanyang servant ang may sakit. They are not the same, okay? These are totally different miracles, alright? Don't get confused on that. These people, noblemen, and the sinto yun, have a person in their family or in their home that is ill. Ah, this is ill, sorry. This is ill, may sakit. Gusto nilang itong gumaling. Yung una, sa ating topic ngayon, ang kanyang anak na lalaki. Doon sa Matthew, ang kanyang servant. Kung sa, kung sa panahon natin ngayon, yung kanyang atsay. Yung kanyang alila. Yung kanyang katulong. Di ba? Lord, my servant is lying home paralyzed, they're fully tormented. Anong nakakalungkot? Meron na namang sa Singapore na tama ba? Nabasa nyo? Na, what ko we see? What happened then? Because of domestic violence is uh, nasaktan na naman. So marami sa mga kababayan natin ang katrabaho na bilang mga domestic helper, ang, ang unfortunately, nakakalungkot, gumaranas ng pang, pang hima, pang abuso. Pag kapasin nyo, siguro, uh, yung kasapa, yung mga Pilipino na doon na, kaya no, yung center yun na yan, napakagandang employer niyan. My servant is lying on paralyzed and fully tormented. He implored to the Lord. He pleaded to the Lord na pagalingin yung kanyang servant. Servant niya, ito naman, child. That is their fleet. Meron siya ng common request to God, to Jesus Christ. Right? That one of their loved ones is sick that they want to be, they want, this men want their loved ones to get better. And that is their fleet. Tuloy natin, ito naman ang pronouncement ng Panginoon in John chapter 40, verse 50, mabilis lang. So Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your son lives. Your son lives. Kaan malayo? 32 kilometers. So the man believed the word that Jesus has spoke to him and he went away. Ano kanina ang tawag sa tao? Noble man. Papapansin niyo yung pag-degrade ng kanyang, ng, kanyang, ng kanyang position. He was a nobleman twice mentioned. Now, he became man. Katulad na lang natin, ordinary tao. So, Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. May, just just no, no, uh, uh, take note of this. Your son lives. Three precious words. Your son lives o mabubuhay ang iyong anak. Sa King Jesus Christ, your son liveth. Sa ibang mga translation, sa, sa NIV, medyo weak ang translation niya, you go your way, your son will live. It's a, pu- it's a future uh, tense. In, in the NKJV, it's, it's a present tense. Right? Right there and there. Nabuhay kaya? Hindi sa isa, ano nangyari? So, said, ano to? Centurion naman to, di ba? So, Jesus said, of course, may, may iba pang before 30, may ano pa yan, kung anong nangyari dyan, kung sinabi pa ang Panginoon. But then again, Jesus, go your way as you have believed, so, then, so it that will be done to you. Kasi ang nangyari dito po sa centurion na to, to just be, give you an, uh, uh, a bird's eye view, 
Di ba centurion niya? Pag sinabi centurion, ilan na kanyang sinasakupang sundalo? Sa libo na? Century. Ibig sabihin, two na. Day sandaan. Ibig sabihin, pag centurion ka, mayroon kang sandaan sundalo na under your command. Hindi yata yung 44 yung nasa kanya kasi kung 44, 56 na lang ngayon. So hindi po yung 44 yung kanyang sinasakupan. Nakakalupo po yung please pay for them. Anyway, this centurion said, Lord, you don't have to come to me. I will go to your house. Ang Panginoon naman sa Matthew chapter 8 na ito, sabi, I will go to your house and heal your servant. No, 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 Lord, you don't have to come to my house. I am also a man of authority. Kung sasabihin ko sa aking alihan, punta ka niya, pupunta siya doon. Pupunta din sa isang alihan, punta siya, pupunta siya doon. Sasabihin mo lang, gagaling ang aking alihan. Gagaling ang aking service. So, ang sabi ng Panginoon, then Jesus said to the servant, kaya nga sabi, I've been here, but kami ako nang nakikipin ko, wala akong nakita ganitong pananampalataya. Sabi nga na sa, uh, sa verse, sa upper verses. So sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Go! Your way! Kapasin Go! Go! Go your way! As you have believed, so it will be done to you. Anong kanyang paniniwala? Nasasabihin na lang ng Panginoon sa kanya, na siya, ah, gagaling yung kanyang alila, gagaling. Kasi ganun din siya eh. Sa isang century, sa isang uh, uh, taong nasa authority, mayroon sa mga uh, tauhan, yung sasabihin niya kung anong gusto yung paggawa, gagawin. Eh, ang Panginoon, ganun din ang kanyang pangkakakilala sa Panginoon. This, I'm talking about something to you. Sabi niya, gagaling ang aking mga servant. Because you just say, So that was the faith that Jesus said in the man, Centurion. But, in the pronouncement dito sa 450, wala pa tayong nakikita ganun. Basta ang ginawa ng tao, the man believed. Wow! Believe! Believe! Go! Go! Believe! Sino na niniwala? Both of the people na nagre-request ng healing, which about several kilometers away from their locality, from their position right now with Jesus Christ, both men went, both men gone, both men go. While they went there, they believed. Ask them siyan. They believed. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and he went his way. Jesus Christ, if somebody, if the doctor will tell you, I remember when I was young, hindi, hindi kami dinadal, hindi ako dinala ng nanay ko sa doktor. Dinala niya yung testimony ko. Ibig sabihin, my mom went to the clinic and sinabi niya lang yung symptoms ko at pagdating niya, may dala siyang gamot. Ewan ko kung nangyari sa inyo yun. Hindi dinadala na nanay natin tayo sa mga, sa mga doktor. Ewan mo kung may babayaran or something. I don't know the reason why. Ngayon ko lang talaga napagtanto. Bakit hindi tayo dinala sa hospital? Pwede na tayo sa merinda at saka yung piso. Ganun din ba kayo? Kapag may lagnat? So, parang gumagaling, gumagaling naman tayo, no? Bahit Jason lang yata ang katapat or I don't know. Gumagaling naman tayo. Well, this man did not bring his son to Christ. The, the centurion did not bring his servant to Christ personally, but when they implore and they ask Christ that their loved ones be healed, and when Jesus Christ said, Go, your son lives, go your way as you have believed, so it will be done to you. Go your way, your son lives, they went. Pumalis na sila. Of course, they are not 100% sure if their loved ones are healed at that very moment. Wala tayong magbabasa dyan. Pero dito, ang kakaipan dito, go your way, you have to live, and as you have to live, so it will be done to you. Yung isa talagang alam niya, magpapananampala tayo sa kasabila ng Panginoon na gagaling kanyang servant, ma, ma, magagaling. But in our, in our text, mga kapatid, the man believed. The man believed that Jesus spoke to him and went his way. There is what we call the faith exhibited Kap, nung, nung sinabi na pa yun, go your son lives and the man just left walang kanong-kanong hindi na niya pinili ng Panginoon kasi di ba sa first one na sa ating sa uh, una sabi niya calm down right tinapli niya eh calm down before my child dies did Jesus did Jesus Christ came down No, wala siya. Hindi siya umalis sa kanyang uh, kinatatayuan. 
He never said, unlike the centurion, let I go to your house. It's the, it's the basic difference there. So the pronouncement, go your way, your son lives. And what, is, what happened? Here we go. The healing. And, he, and he, as he was now going down, so probably nasa south yung, nasa north yung, kasi pumunta sa south. So, it's going down, so parang nasa barrio yung isa, pumunta ka ng baba. So, going down. His servants met him and told him, your son lives. The exact word. Kasi, the exact word. Your son lives. <laughs> Sabi na isang commentator na wala sa natawa ko, uh, marami sa mga servants kaman, pero ang servants na to, masipag. Kasi nang nakita pa lang ganyang amo, tumakbo na. So, binalita, yung magandang balita. Your son lives! Then he inquired of, the, of, the, of the, them the hour when he got better and they said to him, yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. Anong oras ang seventh hour? Anong oras yan? sa oras noon. Alas 7 ng gabi. In the Jews time, first hour starts pagpotok ng araw. 6 o'clock. This is probably 1 p.m. Okay, like I said, first hour is 6 a.m. Second hour is 7 a.m. Seventh hour is ano oras? 1 o'clock. Sa ibang mga translation, 1 o'clock yung nakalagay dyan. So, at the same time that Jesus said the same thing. Your son lives. To say son. And his servant was healed that same hour. But in sa verse 13 kanina, di ba? Go. What you believe. What will be done unto you. The moment that Jesus Christ said that to the centurion, the centurion servant was healed at that same hour. Jesus Christ has the need to be there for a miracle to take place. Just His words. Something will come out. Something will happen. Kailan naganap itong your son lives? Yesterday. About 1 p.m. Maybe the nobleman spent the night in Cana. Kasi, kinabot kahapon eh. Bumaba siya, met him, malayo. 32 kilometers kahapon, nag-hiking kami. In a brother, Aldin, Ray, Ryan, brother, Ray, si Jim. Sa Buanaksan. Yung pinuntahan namin, twice na namin napunta doon sa point na yun, sa about, ayun po, may isang kilometro mula sa base. Okay na kami doon noong una. Pero kakabi, kahapon, we tried to reach the peak. And it took us more than two hours to reach the peak. It's about 625 meters. Dami dun sa mapa, pero malagay ko more than that. And um, it took us two hours and a half to climb to the peak. Uh, not to mention yung daan. That was about a less than moment. Uh, the most is three kilometers from the department kasi may mapa siya. Two hours and a half. Ito, 32. I don't know how far kung gano'n siya nagpahinga but the thing is, it took overnight, right? Pansin niyo, kinabukasan eh. Yesterday, the fever left him at around 1, 8, 1 p.m. Kailan niya sinabi ni Jesus Christ to? So, where was the healing? At the very moment God said to this man, Go your way, your son lives. Boom! His son was him. The woman that, that Jesus Christ said to the, 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 the centurion, Go, and what you believe will be done unto you, that very same hour his servant lived. That's how powerful God's words are. Amen? Amen. That's how powerful God's words are. Amen. Pag sinabi niya, you will be healed, you will be healed. If you know you'll be saved, you'll be saved. The same voice that said, Lazarus, rise up. The same voice that said, Go thy way, your son lives. Ito po yung miracle na nangyari right at the very moment Christ mentioned those words at yung effect to tao ayan. Anong resulta? Again, kanina noble man yan. Kanina, being man. 
Ngayon, ano nangyari? Father. See the transition from the nobleman the man It's a result. So the father knew it was the same art which Jesus said to him, your son. Again, there you go. Son lives. Three times. So less than three verses, right? Your son lives and he himself believes in his whole household. You know, resulta, mga kapatid, nung kanya, sa kanyang payat na pananampalataya at sa sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus, ang kanyang anak ay gumaling. At hindi lang ang kanyang anak ang gumaling. Physically, of course, his household gumaling. Spiritually. Whole household. And he himself believed in his whole household. Pero kapatid, ito rin ang sinabi ni, ni ng Acts when uh, Peter made the testimony when he went to Joppa. Nung yung, yung gumaba yung isang blanket na maraming mga hayop, ba't iba sabi ng, ng voice, ng voices mula sa langit, go and get it. Anyway, this is about uh, the mission for the Gentiles. Peter <laughs> is the one who will tell you your words by which you and your household will be saved. This is Cornelius' house. Cornelius' house was saved. First, he was saved and all his household. Right? Okay? <coughs> the Philippine jailer, Paul and Silas, so, they, Paul and Silas, okay? Believe on the, they said, believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved you and your household. So, when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, as like we did, hindi malayo, because this is God's words, na ang pamilya mo, masasave din. God will use you, will use us, for our family, to be saved. Amen? Amen. Marami na experience na ganyan. Marami na experience na. But before that, before we go farther to that, Tignan lang natin ang konting side at yung story. The nobleman, mentioned twice, pagdating doon sa ibang verse, natin siyang the man, believe. Nung naging naniwala siya at gumaling ang kanyang anak, the father, na lang. Any person, kahit ano pang klase ng tao, whether you are the President of the United States, pagdating sa pamilya mo, hindi ka na presidente. Kahit magaling ka pang pastor, kahit magaling ka pang artista, pagdating sa mga pamilya mo, para sa kanilang kinabukasan, puhubarin mo yun. Right? Ganun ang ginawa ng tao ito. Tingin mo ang niya. I don't know kung, binab, kung, kung bin, oh, if you have read this one before and you notice the transition ng uh, demotion na kanyang, uh, sabi ko lang, demotion ng kanyang physical na pagkatao. From a noble man, to man, to father. I am a father. Kung ano man, ang kaya, kung ano man siguro ako pagdating sa anak ko, hindi ako yung, kung ano man ang position ko. <coughs> kung manager ako, hindi ako manager, pag ang anak ko masakit, ordinary patient nila ako sa hospital. I will remove it. Hindi mo na kailangan magmayabang pa. Right? Kung ano ang ka. Pagdating sa pamilya ko, you just just an ordinary man, you just an ordinary father. And we see the humility on the part of this person. Sabi sa kanya, Panginoon, kung hindi kayo manglini, you people will not, you will, you will, if you will not see signs and wonders, you will not believe. He's not mine. He's a noble man, he's a royal official. Wow, he's, come on, influential. But he did not make a sabi sir, come down before my son dies. And the man believed. And the father knew that it was the same hour which Jesus said to him, Your son lives. Kapatid. The same person who said, Your son lives. The same person who said, Lazarus, come out. The same person who called the storm. And the same person who created the world and the same person who said to you and he will say to you and he said to you in Matthew chapter chapter uh, chapter 11 it said Come unto me Come unto me all you are labor and heavy laden and I will give you rest The same person the same God Kapag dano ang invitation niya sa iyo kung meron ka mga sickness pagod disappointments, stresses, kung ano-ano pa mga burdens sa buhay mo, when he said, Come unto me, all your labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, mga kapatid. When I said, when he said, I will give you rest, this one of the 7,000 promises in the Bible, and you will fulfill that. Amen. I don't know about you, but I found rest in God. 
My soul is at rest. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya balisa kung saan siya pupunta. Kung dumating man ang panahon na babawin ang buhay na ito, o kung dumating man ang panahon na darating na siya, my spirit is rested already. Alam niya kung saan siya pupunta. Alam po kung saan ako pupunta. Because ang nagsabing, let there be light. Siya rin nagsabing, come unto me. Siya rin na nagsabing, your son lives. Siya rin na nagsabing, go! And what you believe will happen unto you. Dito ba yan? Isang napakagandang pangako. Tanong, have you ever took that faith in Christ? Na, maaari, ikaw ang gamitin ng Diyos para sa iyong mga pamilya, para sila rin ay makakilala sa Panginoon. Because ganito ang nangyari dito. Sabi ng isang sumulat, at babasahin ko lang mga kapatid, The noble man may represent all human beings who may follow the, or embrace the gospel. As a result of faith, he healing a part, right? As a result of faith, healing a part. Dahil sa pananampalatay, nagkaroon ng milagro, nagkaroon ng uh, kagalingan. All of us need to exhibit that faith of the noble man. What is that faith? Accept Jesus' words as they are. Without wavering. Hindi mo na kailangan makakita mo na ng miragro. Because these two guys here, the centurion, the nobleman, hindi na kailangan nila ng proof <coughs> that God can do it, that Jesus Christ can do it. And they just believe. And because of that, their loved ones were healed. The story ends with the genuine faith of the nobleman and his household rather than a focus of the child's healing. Tignan niyo, ang focus eventually ng miracle was not on the child. In itself, the focus of the healing is or was on the belief of his household. Nanampalataya ang kanyang, ang pamilya ng tao nito dahil din sa pagkakagaling ng kanyang anak. Dahil sa pananampalataya niya. Isipin niyo na lang. Kung, na, kung sinabi ng Panginoon, nung, nung sinabi ng Panginoon, Go thy way, Isal. Ito, Panginoon, sumama ka! Palagay niyo ba, gagaling yung anak niya? Kasi that very word, that very word is never, sabi niyo, sama ka! Parang kumaling, ang ibig sabihin, hindi ka naniniwala doon sa pinangihingan mo na by his words, your son can be healed. Because of his faith, of course, his son was healed. And they were healed spiritually. Amen? They were healed spiritually. This death demonstrated the power of Jesus as Savior and healer to those who respond to him in genuine faith. Tell your story. Meron pong matanda sa church namin dati, si Apong Ben. Nag-harvest po siya ng mani. Ay, mani at pinas. At uh, binigyan niya yung pastor namin dati. At naglaga naman yung pastor ng mani. At kinain naman ng mga anak niya yung mga mani. Unfortunately, isa sa mga anak niya, nung kumain, instead na dumaretso sa sa esophagus, papunta ng stomach, Dumaretso yung mani. I don't know what happened. Saan ang sumata? So there was clogging. Siyempre, mamumula yung bata. Mamumutla yung bata. Takbo sila sa hospital. Pray and pray and pray and pray sila ang nangyari. Puro pray talaga. Walang magawa ang doktor. Ang magalang lang yun. Wala naman ang same look sa amin. Ano ang bata? Biglang nabahing. Nag-atsing. Puro ang kaso. Because they believe in the power of prayer. Amen. Of course, at the least, that a sacred sir, tara, pupunta ka ng hospital, but tara, pero sir. Sinong pangiha kong beno mga mani? Di na siya ng kanin. <laughs> Sinisis pa niya yung sarili niya kung mamumati yung anak ng pastor namin dahil sa akin. Pero hindi po ganun. Hindi po yung ganun. Ang, ang dahilan po bakit nangyari is for God to demonstrate His power to the boy. To the, to the boy. Amen. Ganun din ang nangyari dyan. Nagkasakit kayo. Kung nga, pag nagkasakit ang anak mo, kung kayo mga nanay, ang tatay kayo, pag nagkasakit yung mga anak mo, talagang balisan na kayo eh. Pero may ibang ma ma maaari, may, may dahilan kung bakit nangyari. Ito, and the point of death, tandaan nyo ha, yung bata is in the point of death. Pero nung gumaling, hindi na ang bata ang gumaling. Tatay niya gumaling, nanay niya gumaling, maaari pa si kasambahay gumaling spiritually. Tingnan nyo, yung kapangyarihan ng Diyos sa atin. 
the result of this miracle also Makabadi can also be uh, realized saat ini mga Tuhan the Bible said sabi nga believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved you and your household as a pastor of my testimony I claim this I really claim this kaya nung ako nagtapos sa PAC sabi ko sa mga kapatid ko mag-aral din kayo doon kasi bakit? eh doon ko nakilala ng Panginoon eh Eventually, lahat ang nag-aaral sa PEC ng mga kapatid ko, five of them, were able to be saved there in the same place. Hindi na-realize ko na to. This verse is true to me. It might be true to you. Ba't mo kong sasayin mo? Ano gagamitin yung... Diba? Kayo na mismo gagamitin ng pangang sa mga pamilya ninyo. Kayo na mismo papamilit at gagamitin ng Panginoon para sa pamilya natin. Just God is waiting for your voice to hear your voice and answer His call just like the robo man who called the Savior to heal His son. Diba sabi nga eh, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. The same words that Jesus Christ said, the same voice like I said, come unto me. The same, but the same God who died on the cross for you, who shed His blood for you and me. And so the same God, the same person was crucified on the cross who provides salvation to those who believe Him. Do you believe Him? Amen. You have that faith right at this moment? Sasabihin sa'yo ng doktor, ang kabukas ka na lang, kalmado ka pa rin ba? Ang, ang kalulong mo ba ay uh, sigurado ka bang sa lakit pupunta? Amen. How will you respond to that call? Oh, napakadali lang naman eh. Sabi, ginawa ko na nga, nagawa ng Diyos kasi ang mahirap. Kaya yung salvation na madali na lang. Sabi ka dito sa at sa inyong mga program, sa papa, yung sa, sa, sa inyong mga, sa inyong mga devotion. Sabi dyan, faith sees the invisible, believes the incredible, and receives the impossible. These words were exactly the same thing that the centurion and the noble man, the man and the father, all in one, ginawa nila. It's faith. Kapatid. Sees the invisible, believes the incredible, receives the impossible. Is was that impossible? 32 kilometers away from the same person who said, Go, your son leaves. But very moment, the son is there. Pati, hindi ka pa sure. When I assure sa buhay mo, kung sakasakaling bawiyan ka ng buhay, ay hindi ka pa sigurado, ito na yung araw, pagkakataon, very moment, na gusto ng Panginoon, come unto me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Sabi ng kanta, no one comes to the body except through me. <coughs> so, bilang basahin, namunamin ninyo yung isong salitang yun dahil pagbibigot yun. And they can impact, and they have an impact in your eternal destiny. In our eternal destiny. If you believe in the Son of God, you will be saved, sabi ni Paul sa mga taga-Romans. Who shall, over, who shall ever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, but the word of God says, "I will accept you as my Lord and Savior." The Bible said, "You will be saved." I hope you do that. If you, don't, if you didn't do it yet, because one of these days, that will be healed. Because one of these days, God will use you for your family's good. Because one of these days, God will use you for your family's good. For your family's good. God will use you to other people. To be saved. Hindi sa pat na ikaw ay masipag lang. Hindi sa pat na ikaw ay bait lang. Dahil marami pupunta sa langit na ganun-ganun na. Pero hindi po yun ang barometer ng Panginoon. Marami pupunta sa langit. Marami mga namatay na mabahit pero hindi naniwala sa Panginoon. And I'm sure they are not in heaven. Kaya eh, tayo po mga kapatid, papasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. If you have that faith already placed on it, if you don't have, let us pray. So oras na ito, tayo po yan. Uh, Muling manalangin. Kung mayroon ka ito, kung mga tao dito, kakibigan, kapatid, kaibigan, kung sa oras na ito, sinabi ng doktor sa iyo, hanggang tatlong araw na lang ang buhay mo, makakasigurado ka kaya sa lahat ng pagkita. Kung ang sagot mo, Pastor, hindi po ako sure ito po yung tayo. Kung paano ginawa ng nobleman na yun yung kanyang pananampalataya, the moment that God said to him, that Jesus Christ said to him, Go your way, your son lives. Go your way. Repent your sin, your sins, and accept the Lord as the Lord and Savior. If you did that, sabi ng Panginoon, you will be saved. 
pray that in this very moment, kapatid, kaibigan, open your heart to God. Open your heart to Jesus. Repent from your sin and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. You have to do, just pray this prayer. Lord, patawa niyo po sa mga pagkulang. Ano po po ako yung makasalanan? Hindi ko po kaya nilita sa aking sarili. Patawa niyo po ako sa aking mga pagkulang. May oras po ito, pinatanggap po ang anong mga Panginoong Yesus bilang aking Diyos sa sarili at kapagintas. Mula sa araw na ito, manahal ka Panginoong Yesus sa aking puso. Bilang aking Diyos sa sarili at kapagintas. Mula sa araw, tutulungan mo ako maging mas malapit sa iso pang magita ng panalangin po sa aking mga sarili sa pangalan ng Jesus. Mga prayer na yan ay ginawa mga kapatid, sabi ng Panginoon, sabi ng Biblia, to serve God and call upon the name of the Lord with His viewers. Sa mga tunanggap na sa Panginoon, ng so plus are already there. Minsan dumarating sa buhay natin na we lack faith. Sa mga pagsubok, sa mga trials na ating naranasan, even sa mga sickness sa ating mga pamilya. Minsan ginagamit na ng Diyos yan para mismo tayo ang baguhin niya. And there is something that is in us that we need to fix, that God needs to fix. Let's just be humble, just like this noble man. From a noble man to a friend, to a man, to a father. If we just humble ourselves and put that faith in Christ, just like this, this, this man, then, then we can also be healed. Kung nang po, pinagdadaanan natin yung yes, I said, and I believe that, our Christian life will not be, will not be, up, will not be absent from trials, but in the absence of in the presence of trials, we have an ever-present Savior, perfect and flawless. Maging lang tayo matatang. Gulang ang pananampalatayan natin. This too will, this also will soon pass. This place. Salamat po, Dakilang Diyos, sa iyong biyay. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyong mga salita. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyong walang hanggang pag-ibig sa aming lahat. Panginoon, kahit sino, na gustong lumapit sa iyo yung faith, hindi mo hindi mo sila itatagoy. And salamat, Panginoon, that once upon a time, we were able to have that experience to accept you as our Lord and Savior. We, want, we, we thank you, O God, for the opportunity na hanggang ngayon, nangikita namin kung gano'ng kapag ka-faithful sa buhay namin, bagamat at that sometimes, we are unfaithful. Panginoon, hindi ka nagpunan kayo. Tulungan mo po kami na may pamuhay ang aming mga narinig ngayon po namin. Tulungan niyo rin po kami na may bahagi kung ano ang aming narinig sa aming mga mahal sa buhay, sa aming mga magulang, kapatid, o mga esposa. Esposa. Anak po namin, that they too will experience that joy and peace that only Christ can give. At tulungan niyo po kami maging faithful sa aming mga magbabasa ng yung salita. Maging faithful sa pananalangin, maging faithful sa pelos, maging faithful sa lahat ng bagay na ibinibigay mo sa aming. Just let us know. Marami, marami salamat po, Panginoon. We appreciate your presence in this congregation today and every day and every time na nandito. Salamat po ng marami. Kaya panalain ko yung mga tumanggap sa iyo sa oras na ito, sa araw na ito. Just guide their lives, Panginoon. Kung paano mo kami ginay din. Always prepare them for the taste of God. Maraming, maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin. Pinapasalamatan. Pinabali. Pinakamata. Pinupuri ka salamat. Sa pangalan naman. Ay, Pag-along Yesus. Amen. Amen. Pagkandang bago po.